Now, a long-standing tradition here at Detroit is to see the latest concept cars from the Chrysler Corporation. And one other great tradition from Chrysler is that they take shows that they show here in Detroit and put them on the road and actually produce them. And word is that this car, the new Crossfire, is going to do just that. It's about the size of an Audi TT and it features carbon fibre panels. It's powered by a 2.7-litre V6, which we see in the new Sebring. Chrysler want to aim this car at people who want a car that they can drive to the office through the week and take to the racetrack at the weekend. And these aspirations are reflected on the inside. Driver and passenger sit in tight-fitting bucket seats. Behind the seats, there's integrated storage for a pair of racing helmets. The dramatic styling is the work of Chrysler's 25-year-old designer, Eric Stoddard. Well, what inspired me was uh, just my love of driving, um, I love of classic sports cars, and um, just it's just a pure, it's from the heart, and uh, it just I wanted something that would just make you want to drive it. And what do you think of the chances of this making it into production in, hopefully they're not do this in future? Well, the question is not could we, but should we? And that's why we do these concept cars. Uh, we're asking you, the public, and uh, you know we want to we want to see what the response is, and, and can we put a business case together for this? Because engineering-wise, we can do it. Now, word is that if reaction here at Detroit is positive, then this car will go into production, and it will surely fill the gap left by the ending of the Plymouth Prowler production when that stops in 2002. Personally, I think it's a stunning car, and expect to see this being produced in two to three years' time.